Hey guys, in this lecture, we will create a new role called add elastic repo and this role will add the Elasticsearch repository on all our servers so that we can use it later to install ELK stack and beats. Now there are four steps in this role. First, we have to add Elasticsearch public signing key. After that, we have to install APT transport HTTPS module. After which we will save repository definitions and finally we can update our system. Now let's get started. Here on my terminal window, if I do a PWD, you'll see that I'm already under Elasticsearch Ansible. So I need to go to roles and inside roles, I can type in Ansible Galaxy init and then add Elastic repo and I'll hit enter. And this will create the directory structure for this role. So let's open it and let's go to tasks and main.yaml. Let me expand this. Now here, our first step is to add Elasticsearch public signing key. So I'll add a comment and I'll say add Elasticsearch public signing key. And I'll add a name for a new task. And I'll say add Elasticsearch public signing key. Here I'll type in apt underscore key. And after that, I'll type in the URL for the key. Now, URL we can get from our manual configuration steps is this one. So let's copy it and go back to main.yaml and add this URL here. And we need to add state as present. The next step is to install APJ Transport HTTPS module. So let's do that. Install transport module. name and I'll just call it install rather installing apt transport https and I'll use apt module and I'll give it a name and the module I want to install is apt transport HTTPS and I'll type update under cache and the value is yes. So this should install APJ transport HTTPS. After this, we need to add Elasticsearch repository definitions. Add Elasticsearch repo definitions. Here, let's give the name to a new task. So let's copy this and paste it here. Now the module we'll use for this is called APT repository. Now it takes the argument repo and what we have to do for this one is we have to copy everything under this after echo in our manual configuration file and we can copy this here and paste it here and again state would be present and finally we can update our system so with system update task would be system update and module will be apt and update underscore cache will be yes. Now this playbook is all well and good but for best practices what we can do is we can make this URL and this URL as variables. So for example if 
tomorrow Elasticsearch changes the URL for its public signing key or launches 8.x of its version then you do not need to come in here and edit your playbook what you can do is you can change the variable inside your variables file so let's do that under defaults let's open main.yaml here first we have to specify this public signing key URL so I'll make a new variable called elastic PSK URL I'll copy the URL from here and I'll paste it here and then I'll copy the name of the variable and call it here move all back this way and what we forgot to do was we forgot to add these so let's add them now now next thing we need to do is we need to convert this into a variable as well so let's cut it move here let's call it elastic repo and paste it here we can copy elastic repo we can come in here and call it as a variable inside this now we can save our playbook so anytime now you if Elasticsearch make any changes you can come in here and change these values you do not have to edit your playbook now once this is done we can go to our playbooks and this time let's create a new file and call it deploy demo.yaml I'll copy the contents of ELK and web server files here And I'll add the three dashes now what we'll do is we'll add it different task called all so here we will have the modules or roles that we need to call against all servers in our inventory for example add elastic repo and then whatever roles we need to call against either elk stack or web server we can add them here so add elastic repo elk web server now we can save this file as well and now let's go one level up to nls here we can run our playbook so ansible playbook minus i inventory slash host.yaml and playbook slash deployed demo dot yaml and hit enter so this is how you can add Elasticsearch repository on all our servers so if you look at the output for add elastic repo we've added the public signing key We've added the APD transport HTTPS module. We've also added the repo definitions. And finally, we were able to update the system. With this, we've come to the end of this lecture. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next one. If you like this video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.